when all God's children get together. Hallelujah. Amen. It's going to be a glorious time. Amen. 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 We'd like to Amen. welcome you to our, our morning service, 11 o'clock service at St. Matthew's Missionary Baptist Church. We'd we'll like to thank you for tuning in and coming. Uh, the greatest gift of all is that you can come and watch the Lord work in your life. It, it might have been something that I was going through that he delivered me from that would help you. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, I need some help. Come on, don't be scared to tell them. Uh, everybody needs some help. Oh, uh, come on now, God. I know you're saved and sanctified, but you ain't perfect. Amen. I need some help. Amen. God is gracious to us. He gave us another opportunity to come into his house of prayer. Uh, we would like to recognize a, a belated birthday for the, the month of January that all they had a birthday in January. Will you please stand? Amen. All right. All right. Amen. We just like to recognize you, uh, let you know that St. Matthew is always thinking of our, our, our people, our sisters and brothers in Christ. in January also. Any married couples? Amen. Amen. God was good in January too now. <laughs> Amen. we just like to thank you for coming and worshiping with us. Uh, we pray that the word of God will enlighten you on your walk with him. Uh, we're going to turn it over to the music ministry. We'll come back with a scripture and a prayer. Amen. <laughs> my soul not enough time to tell you how you made me whole not enough time to tell you how you set me free it's been so Not enough time to tell you I saved my soul. Not 
Not enough time to tell you how it made me whole. Not enough time to tell you how it set me free. He's been so good to me. tell you I made me whole not enough time to tell you I set me free not enough time to tell you he's been good to me not enough time to tell you I saved my soul not enough time to tell you I made me whole not enough time to tell you I set me free not enough time to tell you he's been good to me time for our scripture reading and I, I just want to do, get you in this vein this thought hatred around the world but God has an answer for that if, if you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and love is what we're missing when you hear the word charity here Think of the word love. Mm, yeah. Verse 13, it says, Though I speak it with tongues of men and of angels mm. and have not charity, yeah. I have become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Yeah, yeah. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, yeah. and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains yeah. and have not charity, mm. I am nothing. And though I bestow all good to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profit me nothing. Yeah. Charity suffer long mm -hmm. and is kind. Yeah. Charity envy not. Charity want, vaunteth not itself. Mm -hmm. It is not puffed up. Yeah. Does, not have, does not behave itself unseemly. Mm -hmm. Seeking not herself, her, her own self is not easily provoked, yeah. thinking no evil, rejoice in not in iniquity, but 
and rejoice in the truth. It beareth all things. It believeth all things. Hopeth all things. And most importantly, endureth all things. Without charity, or I should say, charity never fails. May God have blessings on the hearers, the readers, but most of all, the doers of his holy word. Amen. Amen. God is charity. He is love. Amen. Let us bow. Father, as we come right now with a bowed down head and a humble heart, first of all, we'd just like to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We just thank you for another opportunity to call on your wonderful name. Lord, we thank you for the small things that we take for granted. You woke us up this morning and you started us on our way, Lord. You, you had provided some food for me and, Lord, you gave me strength enough to dress myself. Lord, I thank you. Lord, you even gave me a, a ride to your house of prayer. I couldn't have made it without you. I sure do thank you. Lord, I thank you for our, our families, that everything is as well as it is right now. Because, Lord, we know in our hearts and everything that's going on in this world, it could have been the other way. Somebody could have came and shot up my job. Somebody could have ran me off the road. Someone could have broken my house. But, Lord, you protected us from all of that. And we thank you. Like we, Lord, we thank you for the assurance of you, who is the word, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father, we thank you for that. Lord, we ask it for a special blessing for our pastor today. Build him up, Lord. Strengthen him, Father. And heal him in no way other than what, what you can do. Lord, we thank you for our first lady first family, our brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord. Lord, I thank you for being a God all by yourself. Uh, no one can do what you can do. Even if they try, they still wouldn't do it. Uh, and they come in with all these false accusations about you, but Lord, I know that your word is true. Mm, so we give you praise. Lord, we pray for the man of God today that's going to stand and preach your uncompromising word. Uh, to your children, Lord, that someone may ask the question, what must I do to be saved? So, Father, we thank you. Uh, bless our going out and our coming in, and this time forward, we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor that you deserve. In Jesus' precious and mighty name we pray. Amen.
Carry me home. Amen. Amen. What's well, a while I'm waiting? God, me.
Father, we come bow down before your throne of grace, thanking you, O oh God, for all of the things that you have done for us up until this very present moment. You've been so good and so kind, so merciful unto us. And so we come together in this place to lift up thy holy and righteous name. We thank you today, O oh God, because we know that without you, we can do nothing. So we come bow down in humble submission to your word. That you said that if we would humble ourselves before you, that we would be your people and you would be our God. And so we come asking you right now, God, that you would continue to hear our prayer. Continue, God, to shower down grace and mercy. We come praying this morning, dear God, for uh, comfort upon all of those whose hearts are broken. We come praying, God, for relief for those that are sick in their bodies. We come helping, oh, finally looking, oh, Heavenly Father, for a semblance of peace in troubled minds. Asking thee, oh, God, because we know that you know all about us. You know what it is that we stand in need of. So, Father, we pray right now that anything that I fail to ask, <laughs> confident that you will not fail to grant. Lifting up today, our pastor, oh, Heavenly Father, do you thank you, oh, God, for his continued health and strength. Thank you, God, that you would continue to endow him with your knowledge from on high, that he might continue to lead and guide us in the way that you would have us to go. And then, oh, God, I pray right now that you would let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. These things I do ask in the awesome name of Jesus, the Christ of God, in whose name I do pray and ask it all. Amen. 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 Our God is a good God. Our God is a wonderful God. Our God is everything you could ever want, everything you could ever need. Our God. Amen. I'm glad we can call him our God. Amen. Amen. Every now and then I'm tempted to claim him for myself, Reverend. <laughs> But I'm so glad that because I call him my God, yeah, 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 yeah. doesn't take anything away from you. That's right. Amen, amen, amen. If you would, with me, open your Bibles to the book of James. Commencing at chapter number one. Book of James number one, beginning with the first verse. James one and one. And we'll read a few verses. for a minute that way I won't have to preach longer <laughs> amen 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 this first verse of James began James a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad greetings my brothers count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect, entire, wanting nothing. Yeah, yeah. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, yeah, yeah. that give it to all men liberally. Unbraid it not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Amen. Amen. We're going to get back to that, but he ain't just talking about males. Come on, somebody. Amen. Mankind, all of us. Amen. If you think double-minded, unstable in all of your ways, you can be seated. Amen. We're going to attempt to lift up this thought this morning. Amen. From this text. Amen. The joy of trouble. The joy of trouble. Amen. James is writing as the text began that he is writing to those 12 tribes which are been scattered about. Those that are that that have been separated and they are they are not cohesive. Right now, they're, they're scattered about, and that's kind of the way we are right now. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. 
and, 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 and our churches and in our minds and in our hearts and in our, we're scattered. We're like the 12 tribes. We are scattered about. But I, I, and, and when we are separated one from the other, it seems like that trouble seems to abound. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amen. It yeah. seems I get into more trouble when you leave me all by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. But he said unto those 12 tribes that though you may be scattered about and may seems like there is no hope, there is no help. What, well, what did he tell them? He said, brother, count it all joy yeah. when you find yourself in divers yeah. temptation. Yeah. 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 Don't get worried. Yeah. Don't get confused. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Just understand it is another opportunity for yeah. God to yeah. demonstrate yeah. that he is God. Yeah. Amen. We all not we all not think it's strange when we meet trouble. Right. Trouble is a part of living. Yeah. Hey, amen. I, I I would dare say you don't need to raise your hand, but I don't think there's anybody in the building yeah. that hadn't had any trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anybody in the building that don't have some trouble. Some trouble. Yeah. Hey, amen. Hey, amen. But but the, somebody wrote a song that said trouble don't last yeah. always. Yeah. Hey, amen. But that they are in a minute. Spaces in between. Sometimes I'm glad that my trouble goes away and leaves me alone sometimes. But I want you to know there's a storm out on the ocean. Yes, sir. And it's moving yeah. this way. Yeah. Hey, Amen. You might be all right right now, and I pray to God that, that your day is going fine. But I want to remind you this morning that as long as you live, somebody said, in trouble, rise. Yeah. I want you to know as long as you live, trouble's coming. But, but there's no need to worry yeah. about your trouble. Right. The Bible says that, that have joy yeah. in the midst yeah. of your trouble. Yeah. Amen. Because if you, don't, if you don't ever have trouble, yeah. you can't understand peace. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you've never had trouble, peace don't mean anything to you. It, 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 it doesn't matter who you are. We all have trials and we have trouble. What, what are we talking about when we're talking about Trouble. There's all kinds of trouble. Yeah. All right, all right. Amen. Sometimes we, we want to put it in a box, but let me tell you, trouble can be found in all kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. There, 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 there's distress for trouble. Yeah. Yeah. There's worry kind of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. There's ailments and affliction kind of trouble. There's yeah. temptation yeah. kind of trouble. Yeah. Pain and suffering. Yeah. Unrest. Disturbances, family that don't want to act right, the yeah. trouble oh, on every oh, hand. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now. Same, seems like every time I turn, there's, there's what, what does Lee say? There's trouble on this side and yeah. trouble on my left side. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like everywhere I turn, there, there's trouble. And, and if you're not careful, all you'll see is trouble. Yeah. But, but let, let me to remind you this morning that it's not what you see, it's how you view what you see. All right. You, you can look at trouble and get all worried and concerned, but you can look at trouble and say, look at another opportunity for God to show that he is God. Come on, trouble, I ain't scared of you. Amen. He said that, 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 that even though sometimes my spirit seems to be disturbed. Amen. Sometimes I have to say, God, even though I can't feel it, I still know that there are God and beside you, there is none of it. Sometimes I can't feel the spirit, but my faith tells me that he's there. Yeah. And you know what? I find myself, even though I know, I keep asking God, don't leave me. Yeah. But I, then I remind myself that he already promised. Yeah. 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 I, I know we, we, we keep repeating, oh, no, well, Lord, don't leave me yeah. by myself. But he already promised yeah. that he would never leave us, no. nobody ever forsake us. Amen. So I remind, that's for my sake. It, it gives me peace of mind yeah. Yeah. to say, Lord, don't leave me, me by myself. Lord, Amen. Bring me joy in the midst of my trouble. Yes, sir. Yeah. He said, brother, find it all joy when you find yourself in divers. To knowing this, that the trying of your faith yeah. worketh yeah. patience. Yeah. Yeah. I found out that when I'm in trouble, yeah. I'm talking about showing enough trouble. Trouble, see, trouble is when you can't do nothing about it. Yeah. Trouble when you're in a situation that you can't fix with your own self. Yeah. You can't put your hands on it and fix it. You don't have enough intellect to yeah. fix it. You, you, you've been sitting in the doctor's office for an hour, and they can't fix it. 
that, that kind of trouble I'm talking about. Hey, man, when I found myself in trouble, that's, that's them divers' places. Hey, man, he said, knowing that the trying of my faith worketh patience. If you're like me, I'm an impatient person. I just kind of want it right now. Hey, man, if you make me wait too long in line, I'll just drive away. Hey, man. Hey, man, I, I did that the other day, and I said to myself, that don't make sense because now you got to drive to the other place, and then you still got to wait. Hey, man, but don't make me wait too long. Hey, man, I don't have very good faith. But he said that, that uh, trouble brings about patience. Have you ever been in a situation where you tried all you could, and you realized that all you, all you could do is wait? All you could do is wait on the Lord? Come see about me. Yeah. Wait on the, upon his own time, upon his own energy, upon his own desires. Lord, come and see about me. James understood that they were in a situation. That Jerusalem and Israel had been in a, because they had been scattered about. And, 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 they, and it's because of their own disobedience that they found themselves in that situation. Well, let me tell you, most of the time I found that a lot of times my trouble have been of my own doing. Amen. Yeah, amen. I find myself in trouble, and it's because of my own neglect, yeah. because of my failure to do what it is that I was supposed to do. But it said, let patience have her perfect work. Yeah. If you'll just sit down and take a seat for a moment yeah. and let God have his way. Yeah. Yeah. That God told Israel one time, he said, you got to realize that your strength is in your silence. Sometimes you just need to say, I'm good at sitting down. It's the shutting up part <laughs> that I tend to have trouble with. But sometimes you need to put them things together. You need to sit down and shut up. <laughs> Find myself complaining about every little thing. Every little thing we call problem. Let me tell you, every problem ain't trouble. Every problem ain't, ain't, ain't trouble. Yeah. Amen. Because a lot of my problems, I know what to do. I just don't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I'm sitting on the couch and the kitchen is over here. I'm hungry, but I don't want to get up. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody may call that trouble. <laughs> oh, Lord. Found myself in trouble last night. Amen. Amen. My... My folks are gone, and I'm sitting there, and I can't say, hey, I'm, I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> and somehow or another, hey, man, y'all know like Lucky Charm said, it would magically appear. <laughs> hey, man, but about that third or fourth time I said I was hungry, and ain't nothing, nothing happened. <laughs> he said that, 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 that let per have her perfect work. Yeah. Why? That ye may be perfect. An entire one, if you let him fix it, yeah. it'll be fixed. Yeah. And not only will it be fixed, it won't be jury rigged. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It, 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 it'll be sure enough fixed. Yeah. In other words, you won't have to go back and mess with it again. Yeah. Amen. When he fixes it, uh, there won't be no screws left. Yeah. When, when, when he fixes it, you won't have no parts left over. Yeah. Amen. Because he will fix it perfectly and he will fix it according to his glory that's why sometimes he takes things out of our hands because if I fix it my purpose would be to hurt somebody if I said I, I can don't get back I'll fix it but his, his fixing is always for our good I love that part where he said that it may be perfect in, in its entirety and you'll be wanting Nothing. We find ourselves in lack and want oftentimes because we don't let God do what only God can do. Sometimes we want to fix it ourselves, but I, I want you to know this morning that there is joy in trouble. We find ourselves in all kinds of situations. In Romans 5 and 3, it says that, and not only so, 
but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulations work as patience. Yeah. And patience experience and experience hope. And hope make it not a shame because the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts and by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Yeah. If you don't go through anything, you don't know what it is to feel the love of God. It's just sometimes when, when, when the sun is shining and everything seems to be all right, sometimes we forget to say, thank you, God. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it something that we wait on trouble? Yeah. Yeah. Amen, before we pray. Isn't it, isn't it something that we wait on trouble before we remind ourselves about just who God is? Yeah. Amen, when everything seemed to be all right. Yeah. Amen, we were, we were riding and gliding. Yeah. Amen, just whistling and Everything seemed to be all right, but the minute trouble shows up, yeah. oh, Lord, <laughs> we need to learn how to call on God even when everything seems to be all right. You know why? Because sometimes trouble don't look like trouble. Sometimes trouble dress up. Sometimes trouble get up early in the morning. Cleans itself up. Yeah. Put on his best suit. Yeah. Spray on a little smelly stuff. Yeah. Hey, amen. And he looks all presentable. Yeah. Went yesterday and got a good haircut. Yeah. Got the hair done. Hey, amen. Trouble shows up and trouble don't always look like trouble. Yeah. Hey, amen. So we ought to always be prepared. But don't worry when trouble comes. Yeah. Hey, amen. Because there is joy yeah. in trouble. Yeah. You know when I found out really who I was and how strong my faith was when I was in trouble. The deeper the trouble. See, somebody put it like this, that you don't know how much faith you have until faith is all you got. Until you've called everybody you know to call. And they either can't come or won't come. And even the ones that show up can't help you. Hey, man, you're kind of like Job. They show up and all they can do is sit. Look at you. <laughs> That's trouble. That's trouble. Y'all, y'all know the story of Job. Well, Job was in trouble. But Job said, I'm gonna sit right here. I'm gonna wait until my change. I want you to know this morning that if you'll just wait right here, your change is on the way. Amen. Trouble really don't last always. Amen. But, 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 but trouble is always waiting. Yeah. Trouble is always waiting to show up. It, 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 verse 5 in, 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 in Corinthians chapter 6, 3 and 8, it says, Given no offense in anything that the, misery, that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the minister of God in much patience in afflictions, necessities, and in distresses. In much affliction, yeah. we must find patience. Yes, yeah. Must find the patience to wait. Yeah. To wait upon the Lord. Yeah. And I'll tell you from, from experience that if you wait on him, yeah. he'll surely show up. Yeah. If you wait on him, he, he'll come see about you. Yeah. If you wait on him, yeah. see, because while you're waiting, he's working. Yeah. While, while, while you're waiting, the problem is being resolved. Amen. While you're waiting, the, the problem is sometimes we'll get up before the problem is fixed. Y'all know what he told them. Wait right here. Don't go anywhere until the Holy Ghost comes. Amen. But we'll get tired of waiting. Amen. I want to go out and do it on my own. Amen. Hebrews 12 and 2 says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, for who the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand. I used to wonder, wow, can you say that was joy when he thought about the cross? Yeah. Knowing all the pain and all the suffering he was going to have to endure. Yeah. But the joy was in knowing that by my suffering, yeah. I would set all men free. Yeah. By my suffering, yeah. I'll be put once again in that right place yeah. with the Lord. Isn't that something that sometimes by your suffering, by your patience, you're demonstrating to somebody else that it will be all right after a while. 
if you'll just wait on God, if you'll wait on your peace, yeah. wait on your turn. Yeah. I think our lesson taught the other day that every man ought to wait on his own yeah. ministry. Yeah. Yeah. Wait until God yeah. says so. Sometimes we wonder why we seem to stay in trouble. Sometimes we wonder why we can't shake off the dust. Remind you this morning that the reason why sometimes you can't shake off the dust because you stay in dusty places. You got, you, so, so sometimes you got to remove yourself from where trouble is. Hey Amen. You got to learn that some there are some places that you got to quit going. There are some folks, you got to love them, but you just got to leave them alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, man, there are some conversations yeah. that you don't need to be involved in. Right. Hey, man, there are some things that I need to quickly dispel from my mind. Yeah. Hey, man, if you, if, if you want to be dust free, yeah. stay out of dusty places. Yeah. I ain't talking about the kind of dust that you can use the swiffer. That ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that dusty stuff that gets up on the tables of your heart. Yeah. That kind of dust that make you act in a certain kind of way. Yeah. That kind of dust that'll make you act in a way that is unpleasing in the eyesight yeah. of God. Yeah. That kind of dust that you think would give you permission to be ugly toward somebody. Yeah. Just because they were ugly toward you. Yeah. Well, the scripture says, be angry, but sin nah. not. Yeah. Amen. We have a desire for the crown. Hmm. But for the crown that you want to wear, there's a cross you're going to have to bear. For the crown that you want to wear, for the glory that you want, there, there are some things that you got to go through. Let me tell you, as long as you live, there's going to be trouble. But the good news is you don't have to stay there. Hey, man, there'll be some sunshiny days. Yeah. There'll be some bright days. Yeah. There'll be some happy days. Yeah. But the scripture says men ought to always pray. Yeah. You know why? Because you might be all right for a moment, but trouble's coming. Yeah. It's on its way. Uh, hmm. And so while we're on this road, somebody, uh, I saw somebody said the other day, and I, I believe that, that salvation is free. But on my way to salvation, yeah. there are some tolls I gotta pay. Yeah. Right now. Right. On my way to salvation, right now. amen, I've got to go through some things. Yeah. I'll have some ups and I'll have some downs. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes I find myself on the mountaintops, yeah. but sometimes I find myself in the valley. Yeah. But I've learned that regardless of whether I'm on the mountaintop yeah. or whether I'm down in the valley, look up. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's where your help is. Yeah. Uh, amen. Look up. Yeah. Hey, amen. Whether you're up, look up. If you're down in the valley, look up. Yeah. Hey, amen. The man used to tell me when I was in the camera, ain't no use of looking down. Because yeah. there ain't no discharge on the ground. <laughs> My, well, look up. There ain't nothing down there that's going to help you. Yeah. No need to looking down unless that's where you want to be. Yeah. Lift up. When you find yourself in trouble, that's when your chest ought to show enough yeah. stick out. Because I got a God that is above all gods. I mean, I got a God that can handle anything. Oh, I don't look like much now, but I got a God. Amen. That is moving in me. I got a God that when I was asleep and couldn't help myself. Amen. He came to see about me. Sooner or later, change will come. Sooner or later. Amen. You can't put it in the microwave and... Punch in eight seconds. <laughs> Amen. Sometimes you just got to wait. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes you just got to got to bring it to the Lord yeah. and leave it there. Yeah. And you know something? Let me tell you this also. That because there is trouble, don't mean it's time to sit down and do nothing. Yeah. Matter of fact, I found myself that when I'm the most weary, is when I need to get up and come on to the house of worship. I used to convince myself I don't feel well this morning, so I ain't going. Amen. But I found out that that's when you show enough you need to go. Amen. Amen. When you're cold, that's when you need to get closer to the fire. 
Hey, hey, man, when things don't seem to be going right, I need to be around somebody that can still raise their hand and say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, man, when it's dark in my life, I need to get around somebody that's got some light. Hey, man, when I don't feel well, I need somebody sometime to take my hand and say it's going to be all right. Hey, man, sometimes when I can't find my smile, hey, man, I find my smile from looking at you. Sometimes we have to spread our wings, cover somebody else's trouble. Sometimes we have to spread it and say, come on in here. I know, I, I don't know what's the, what exactly your problem is. And I don't really need to know the details, but I, can, I know you well enough to know that something that's no, come on in here. Yeah, y'all know how it is. That sometimes, then I remember when I was growing up as a little boy, I used to see them old sisters, they just come. And, I don't know what your problem is, sweetheart, but come here. I want you to know that somebody loves you. You don't need to tell me about it. Just tell God about it. But, but God sent me to let you know, hey, hey man, that, that it's going to be all right. We, we, we ought to make a point sometime. We ought not go too long without reminding somebody that it's going to be all right. That there's joy in your trouble. Don't let it get, it, it might knock you down, but get up. You don't have to stay down. Hey, Amen. You don't have to stay where you are. Even though you might not feel well. You might be sick. Trouble in your body. You know something I found out that, that there's a difference between being, see, I, a lot of times I don't feel well, and I might say I'm sick. But I found out there's a difference between, I, the old folks used to say, not only if they sick, but they low sick. Y'all been yeah. low sick? <laughs> anybody, anybody ever been low sick? <laughs> that that means show sure enough, there's a problem. Hey, man, there's a difference between being sick. And being low sick. <laughs> and that's when you have to dig way down. Yeah. Amen. To find that peace. Yeah. To find that joy. Yeah. I'm talking about low sick when you're struggling for every breath you take low sick. Yeah. Amen. When the doctor done looked at you and started shaking his head low sick. Yeah. When folks that ain't seen you in a while start coming by. Yeah. Low sick. Y'all know some folks don't show up until they hear that you're low sick. When, 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 you, when you're just sick, they ain't going to show up because you might ask them to do something. But when they hear you're low sick, <laughs> that they want to come see. Oh, he showed you man. Y'all know how they are. Oh, I'll be surprised if you make it till in the morning. <laughs> That's when you... <laughs> Didn't did, 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 did share an encouraging word. Amen. Didn't tell you that I've been where you are, but I want you to know God can lift you up. Amen. I don't know about you, but I've been low sick. I've been low sick. Amen. I was at the brink. Amen. I was kind of like Mr. Brown. I kind of teetered and I tottered. Amen. <laughs> but my God, See, sometimes God will let you get to the brink yeah. to let you know that I am God yeah. and that beside me there is none other. I, see, I, I, I want to give you hope when all your hope is gone. Yeah. When they have said that there was no hope. When they tell my wife that I don't know if he's going to be here in the morning. Trouble. But the joy is knowing, yeah, yeah, yeah. amen, that I got a God, yeah. hey, amen, that'll be with me all through the night. Yeah. Hey, amen, if it be his will, yeah. I'll be here yeah. in the morning. Yeah. And even if I don't, yeah. hey, amen, there's joy yeah. in the trouble. Yeah. Because trouble has, been, has passed away. Yeah. Hey, amen, all things have been made new. Uh, amen. James sent this letter to the tribe because he wanted them to understand. I know they're telling you that you just can't make it. Yeah. They're telling you about all the things that you can't have. Yeah. They're reminding you about all the things that you should have done yeah. that you didn't do. Yeah. Amen. But every now and then I need somebody to just remind me that it don't matter what you didn't do. Yeah. There is a God yeah. 
that will fill in all the gaps. Yeah. There's a God that where your strength runs out. Yeah. And he said that, that when, 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 when I am weak, yeah. it's then that I'm strong. Yeah. When I quit depending on my own strength, yeah. amen, then I know I can count on him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. When I came to the realization yeah. that I won't let trouble hold me down. That when trouble comes, yeah. I'm going to deal with trouble. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Trouble, because trouble is not dealing with me. I have a God. Yeah. I know you're looking at me, but you can't see who's standing beside me. Yeah. I, 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 I know you're taking my blood pressure. Yeah. Hey, amen. But I know somebody that gives me the blood pressure. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Amen. I, 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 I ordered a, a shirt the other day, and it said that sometimes I can't, but I know a guy. So, so, sometimes I can't, but I know somebody. Yeah. So, sometimes I, I can't do what you need me to do, but I know who to direct you to. Yeah. Hey, amen. Sometimes I just can't, yeah. but I know a guy. Yeah. I know somebody who sits high yeah. and looks low. Yeah. Guys, my feet wherever yeah. I go. Yeah. Hey, amen. That's why I love that song. If you'll guide me over, yeah. thy great Jehovah. Because I'm just a pilgrim yeah. through this barren land. I'm weak, but you're almighty if you hold me with your powerful hand. I'm glad that you're holding me because sometimes I get weak and I might let go. Amen. But I know that you won't let me go. Amen. 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 Sister Yvonne, I used to hear you say that song that said he held me close. So I wouldn't let go. Amen. The devil thought he had me. Then Jesus came and grabbed me, yeah. held me close. Yeah. My mind had almost convinced me. Yeah. Hey, man, it is curtains, boy. It's all over with. Yeah. Hey, nothing to do but to die, in, but he held me close. Yeah. Yeah. Death thought he had me yeah. till he came and grabbed me. He said, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God. If you're wondering why you're struggling, why you can't seem to figure it out, because you're putting your hope in the wrong thing. You're asking the wrong person. You're seeking your help from the wrong place. Scripture reminds us, look toward the hills from which cometh all of my help, because all of my help comes from the Lord. Let him Ask God, and then he said, if you like wisdom, let's say, and then he said that give us all men liberally yeah. and unabraided not. And upbraided, in other words, quit complaining. Yeah. Yeah. Asking God for what you need all the time, complaining. Yeah. Saying, I won't complain, but I got a headache. <laughs> I won't complain, but my, my light bill do you. Unabraided. In other words, quit putting conditions yeah. on our request of God. Yeah. He, he said, if you, I just want you to confess, lay it at my feet. Yeah. See, because I already know the details. Yeah. And, and I'm glad that he knows all the details because I tend to leave stuff out. Yeah. I, I know we say I tell God all about my problem, but there's some stuff. Yeah. I tell God the good part. I ain't going to tell him about all that shady stuff. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But the good news is that he already, already knows. Yeah. Uh, amen. So you might as well just lay it at his feet. Somebody, I heard a song the other day, said there's plenty of room at the table. You might as well take your seat because yeah. there ain't nothing he ain't already seen. Yeah. You might as well come and lay it all on the table. Yeah. Uh, amen. Because he's already heard it all before. Yeah. He's already seen it yeah. all That's before. Right. Yeah. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Let us ask in faith. Sometime we'll ask God and then cross our fingers. <laughs> oh, Lord, I trust you, but I ain't walking under this ladder. <laughs> Lord, I love you and I trust you, but I saw a black cat and I'm going. Ask in faith with nothing. In other words, give it all to him. 
Learn to trust God with all of your heart, with all of your might. Trust God with everything. Amen. Give him the whole story, but let him ask in faith. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind, tossed. For let not that man that thinketh that he shall receive anything of the Lord. If you don't give it his all, don't expect anything back. If you place an order and don't tell them what you want. Hmm. You can wait and wait and wait. But what I'm telling you is that with God, you need to be specific. It's all right. You might as well tell him the whole story. Because he already knows. He just, he just waiting to see if you trust him enough. Amen. To tell him the whole story. And then at the our last verse in our text, it says, A double-minded man is unstable. In all his ways. If you're talking out both sides of your mouth. Yes. Amen. I asked my friend when it's all over with down here. What do you want folks to say about you? When your time is up. And your time is over. When your name comes up. There will be a thought that comes up. In the minds of people that knew you. What do you want them to say about you? Do, 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 do you want them to say that if he was talking, he was lying? Yeah. What do you want them to say? Do you want them to say that he was a man, he was, she was a woman of faith, of trust? If she said it, if he said it, you could believe it. Yeah. Not that they were always right. Yeah. Amen. But they were always trying. Yeah. Amen. To do the best they could. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He, he, he said that, that if we're double minded, if I tell you whatever it is I think you want to hear. You can't trust me with nothing. Amen. Amen. Our God is a good God. I want you to be reminded today that there is joy in trouble. When I'm in trouble, it's another opportunity for God to lift me up. It, it, it's, it's, it's another brick in my brand new home. It's another chapter in my testimony. Amen. I got something else to tell you about what God has done for me. Amen. I got something else to shout about. Yeah. Amen. So when the next trouble comes, I can look back and say, he brought me yeah. through this. Yeah. And he brought me yeah. through that. Yeah. Hey, Lord, but quickly turn back around and look forward. Lord, I thank you. Yeah. Hey, amen, amen, amen. So the next giant I'm looking at, yeah. it don't look so tall. I don't care how big you are. Yeah. My God is bigger. Yeah. Care how tall you are? I got a God that's taller than yeah. that. Don't care how big your weapon is. I got a God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Who's all powerful. Yes, sir. Amen. I serve a God who's stronger than any man. Yeah. I serve a God who is wiser. He's omniscient. He knows all about my situation. Yeah. He knew trouble was coming before I ever heard about it. Yeah. Amen. He had already fixed it. And all I needed to do was just wait yeah. for his will to be done. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Trouble. Amen. Will come in your life. When I see people amening that come wins that God is going to settle all your trouble. He's going to wipe away all your tears. And if that is true, that means Tuesday you're going to die. Because if you're alive on Wednesday, there's going to be some more problems. There's going to be some more trouble. There's going to be somebody else that's going to say something, that's going to speak something that is going to hurt your feeling. Yeah. Uh, amen. Quit taking everything so personal. Amen. 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 Understand and know that my God is able. Yeah. Yes, amen. I know sometimes it hurt my feelings, but I've learned to quickly turn it loose. Yeah. Amen. Because if I fiddle with it too long, I'll stay in that diver's place. Yeah. Yes, amen. But I count it all joy. Yeah. Uh, amen. That God that I once was down but now I'm up. Yeah. Hey Amen. They may not be seen. I, I learned that I deal with reality. Hey Amen. I don't long for things to be like they used to be. Yeah. Find myself longing for a world that no longer exists. Yeah. But I'm all right with the way it is right now. Yeah. Hey Amen. Our God. Yeah. Hey Amen. And the reason why we find so much difficulty dealing with the things of the world today because we have got to ask God. Uh, yeah. hey Amen. Lord, how do I deal with us? It looks new. But with him, yeah. he already knew all about it. Right. 
Amen, amen. There's joy in trouble. Don't let it get you down. Sometimes it makes you cry. Sometimes it breaks your heart. Sometimes it seems like that I've done all that I knew how to do. Sometimes we find ourselves like a beck of Lord, can't you see? All that I've done. I've tried to uphold your statutes, but can't you see all of this trouble? know about you, but I find myself oftentimes here lately going, Lord, can't you see all of this yes. craziness that is going on? Yes. When are you going to do something about it? Yes. Amen. Then I remind it like you told her, Becca, get back up on the wall. Yes. Wow. You get back on your post. Because yes. while you're down here trying to mind my business, yes. the enemy is sneaking in where you're supposed to be yes. watching. Yes. You get back up on the wall, get back where I sent you yes. to be. Amen. If we'll, if we'll all play our part, yeah. amen, God has already worked it out. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. There, there, there is joy in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And, and the human part of me, amen, sometimes has to cry. Yeah. The human part of me sometimes has a bowed down head. Yeah. The human part of me sometimes find myself, I just want to be all by myself. Amen. I want to throw that one man pity party. Amen. Amen. Woe is me. Nobody don't understand. But I come to realize that there is nothing that this world can bring against me that my God has not already overcome. Amen. Amen. God bless you. May God keep you. Amen. Amen. There might be one this morning that might not know Jesus and the part of your sin. Or maybe you have drifted away. But regardless of where you are, now is an opportunity to come and get to know him. To make him
song is has a special place in my heart. I used to, it drew me from the back to the front. Yeah. Amen. When I, when I heard then Bishop Melvin Williams playing the piano and he was singing that song yeah. while on others, yeah. if thou art calling, uh. don't pass yeah. me by. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I want you to get yours, but I need mine yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Amen. <laughs> hey, Amen. Hey, God bless you. Amen. Hey, for all that he has done. We want to acknowledge some visitors here this yeah. morning. Uh, we have a Ryan Stovall. Hey, Amen. Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Miss, Miss Alana. Hey. Hey. Hey, them my, them my folks there. Hey, Alana. <laughs> Alyssa, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, man. And I believe it's Zach Munger. All right, then. God bless you. Hey, man, we're so happy that you've decided to come and share with us Amen. here today. And you're welcome anytime in this house of worship. Yeah. Amen. It is God's house. Yes. Amen. Anytime that the spirit moves you, amen, our doors are open and you're yes, welcome sir. to come and yes. fellowship yes. with us. Amen. On behalf of our pastor, Dr. Emil Cooper and all of St. Matthew, we're grateful, yes, amen, to God that you came and shared with us yes. on today. Yes. Amen. If there's nothing else, we can stand to be dismissed. Brought me through. Jesus, we pray and ask it all. And the whole church said together.